The world is currently facing a hunger crisis, which we have seen 16 people die every minute. This problem is what provoked us as innovators to come up with a solution. Our solution entails converting grass into edible starch. We can use all the grass species as long as it is non-poisonous, but we decided to settle or specialize in Bermuda and rye grass. This is because it is drought resistant, flood resistant, and it only takes two months till harvest. Our end product, which will be our starch flour, is going to be used as a substitute to maize flour. And also, after being modified, it can also be used as wheat flour. It's supposed to be spaced. One, two, three. After harvesting the grass, we wash it to remove impurities. After washing it, we dry it. After drying it is when we grind it into becoming a powder. After grinding it is when we add our enzymes. After that, we put it in the reactor. After the reaction has taken place, we remove it and put it in the centrifuge, whereby we are going to separate the starch from the solution. After that, we put it in the oven for drying it. After we take it out, we conduct a test for starch to confirm if it is starch. After we've done the confirmation, we now add more nutrients to fortify it. We have already tested our product in the university laboratory and we have confirmed that it is fit for human consumption. We are now awaiting clearance from the relevant authorities before we start mass production. The cost of production of one kilogram of our flour is 0.19 US dollars and it is going to retail for 0.3 US dollars. Yeah. 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 
the world is not on target to meet the SDG goals of ending hunger and malnutrition by the year 2030. And that's why it's very encouraging when you see uh, such innovation from students, uh, especially these ones who are now converting grass into edible starch. If you look at global trends, you'll see that uh, meat is also being produced in labs. And that's why, uh, for me, I think it's very important that such research and uh, innovation is, is encouraged. Uh, because potentially this could help end, uh, and, uh, end global hunger.